Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, federal judge orders release of Hillary's found deleted emails. Things are about to get really interesting in the Clinton household. As it turns out fired FBI Director James Comey and Hillary Clinton's backup email device the entire 2016 election cycle but never bothered to search it. But today thanks to the work of citizen researcher Larry Kawa, the determination of Congressman Ron DeSantis, and the lawyers of Tom Fitton's Judicial Watch, a court ruling from U.S. District Court Judge Randolph Moss ordered the State Department to hand over the contents of the backup device by September 2018. That's right before the coveted midterm elections where Democrats believe they will be able to win back the House and Senate from the Republicans. This finding apparently came about when the company Hillary Clinton's used to store her emails, Platte River Networks, subcontracted to a company in Connecticut called Datto. Datto backed up the vast majority of Clinton's deleted emails, text messages, and other electronic communications and handed six disks containing information to the FBI in October 2015. One of those disks contains at least a great many of her 30,000 missing emails. Comey turned the disks over to the State Department, which has been compelled to search them and release the contents. Attorneys for Judicial Watch stated, The documents are part of the accelerated schedule of production ordered by U.S. District Court Judge James E. Boasberg, which requires the State Department to complete processing by September 28, 2018. The remaining documents of the 72,000 pages recovered by the FBI in its investigation into Hillary Clinton's illicit email server. These new classified and other emails appear to be among those that Clinton had attempted to delete or had otherwise failed to disclose. So it looks like the mystery of the deleted Clinton emails has now been solved thanks to a company which was contracted by a third party to back up information. Let's hope the information can all be read within the time between September and November so people can have the true facts about what went on in those emails that Hillary so didn't want us to see. Somehow I very much doubt it has anything to do with yoga or Chelsea's multi-million dollar wedding. Here is what only 22 of those emails revealed via Gapusa. Digging up the Dems buried scandal? The letter written by several House Republicans to Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and to FBI Directory Christopher Wray and U.S. Attorney John Huba by several House Republicans asks him to open an investigation into Comey, Clinton and other DOJ officials involved in the Russia probe, accusing them of a coordinated bias. We write to refer, Comey, Clinton and DOJ members, for investigation of potential violations of federal statutes, and, are especially mindful of the dissimilar degrees of zealousness that has marked the investigations into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and the presidential campaign of Donald Trump, respectively. The letter signed by 11 GOP lawmakers on Wednesday reads, Because we believe that those in positions of high authority should be treated the same as every other American, we want to be sure that the potential violations of law outlined below are vetted appropriately. Besides seeking to get to the bottom of Clinton's alleged criminal behavior, the letter is also looking to open the door on the current controversy revolving around special counsel Robert Mueller, who many believe Trump is poised to fire. The accusations of political bias toward President Donald Trump are related to events that contributed to the appointment of special counsel Robert Mueller to investigate Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. election, the Business Insider reported. Comey, whom Trump fired last May, was accused of mishandling the investigation in Clinton's private email server and for leaking classified information of private discussions he had with Trump. The letter first mentions how Comey prematurely walked away from investigating Clinton, with criminal evidence stacked against her. Incredibly, Comey's judgment, that no reasonable prosecutor would bring a criminal case against Clinton, appears to have been made prior to interviewing Secretary Clinton and as many as 17 key witnesses, including Clinton's closest aides, the letter continues. Comey's decision to not seek charges against Clinton's misconduct suggests improper investigative conduct, potentially motivated by a political agenda. The letter requesting the probe comes just a day after Comey's new Trump-bashing book hit bookstores across the nation. Comey specifically said in public testimony that he did not coordinate with the DOJ for his July 2016 public recommendation not to pursue charges against Clinton, Fox News' Catherine Herridge reported. Meadows, however, pointed to a series of messages he claims indicate potential coordination at several crucial moments of the investigation dash including the July statement and the period in February. While the FBI is part of the Justice Department and communication between the two agencies is inevitable, Meadows' letter also suggests some at the FBI were concerned about the perception it was not acting independently in a politically explosive case. Justice put on hold for political purposes? In one of the recently uncovered messages, 
former Assistant Secretary of State for Diplomatic Security Gregory Starr communicated to FBI Head of Counterintelligence Bill Priestap that the State Department was getting ready to punish the people who had misplaced the sensitive messages. The Department of State is prepared to take appropriate administrative action for any instances of mishandling of classified information in accordance with our own internal processes, Starr wrote in a message dated February 8, 2016, according to Fox News. Yet justice would be put on hold, possibly indefinitely. However, the official added that the department did not want to hinder the ongoing FBI investigation and, if instructed, would postpone the administrative action over the emails until after the Bureau's case had concluded, Harridge noted. The following revealing note written on February 13, just five days later, by an unidentified senior DOJ official addressed to FBI agent Peter Strzok, FBI Criminal Division official Jonathan Maffa. The FBI Office of General Counsel and members of the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of Virginia was also discovered. Wanted to make sure that DOJ is kept in the loop as responses drafted, the unnamed official in the DOJ's National Security Division impressed in the note, according to Fox. We have discussed a bit more here at CES, the DOJ's Counterintelligence and Export Control Section, and have some additional thoughts on the best response on the admin action question. Can we make sure we discuss as a group as responses put together? It should be noted that the head of CES, David Lofman, left the DOJ earlier this year in February because of personal reasons, and essentially nothing has been done to look into the new possibly incriminating evidence. The State Department took no immediate administrative action over the 22 top-secret emails on Clinton's email server, Herge pointed out. Many of those involved in the matter had left the department by the time the FBI investigation closed in July 2016. After being buried while former President Barack Obama remained in office, efforts are being made under the Trump administration to get to the bottom of things concerning Clinton's email scandal. Meadows has gotten support for his inquiry from House Oversight Committee Chairman Rep. Trey Gowdy, RSC, Harridge informed. On Wednesday, Gowdy asked Attorney General Jeff Sessions, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, FBI Director Christopher Wray and Justice Department Inspector General Michael Horowitz to review allegations of coordination between the FBI and the Justice Department in the Clinton investigation. Caught in the web, a number of key Democrats and others serving under the Obama administration could find themselves in serious trouble in the courtroom in the near future. Along with Comey and Clinton, former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, former Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe, former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates, former Acting Deputy Attorney General Dana Bente, and FBI officials Peter Strzok and Lisa Page were named in the letter, the business insiders Pat Ralph and Sonam Sheth pointed out. From attempted cover-ups to intentionally misleading investigations, many Clinton sympathizers and alleged anti-Trump conspirators could be facing serious consequences in the upcoming months. Lynch was accused of threatening reprisal of an FBI informant who attempted to present the Justice Department with information on the Uranium One deal in 2016. Ralph and Sheth recounted. Along with Comey, McCabe, Yates, and Bente were all accused of presenting false information to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court in connection with approving surveillance of former Trump aide Carter Page under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, FISA. And things can get even worse for a number of them. McCabe and Yates, both of whom were fired, approved a FISA warrant on Page, not to mention that, McCabe was also accused of political bias and lack of candor in his handling of the Clinton investigation, Ralph and Sheth stressed. Strzok and Page were also accused of interfering in the Clinton investigation. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.